here this morning on a job that these guys are doing. Uh, this was all dirt before, as you can see here, uh, this area. It was just all dirt, just plain uh, up there where Chris is standing. We built that up and put some tan gravel in there. We did that on the other side as well. And then now Aaron is putting this fence together. So we put this fence in to give the customer a break for the dogs. I guess he was wanting to keep the dogs in this new area here. So yeah, it came out pretty good. The guys already had to bring in topsoil and grade this, put sprinklers in. We've got a sprinkler head that's too high right there. Another one that's too high right there. So and another one right there. So the guys got to go back and cut those down, those three down. Yeah, irrigation's done though. Other than that, uh, so we got to work on that edge there. Yeah, they're painting the fence right now. We're going to stain the post. This customer wanted to do wood posts because there's original fence. So the original fencing around the patio is existing. All Aaron's doing is adding a picket in between. So originally the fence that was there was with wood posts and a metal uh, fence that was six inches apart. But we're going in and putting another picket right in between that way his dogs don't get through it. So the only new fence that we did is right from where you can see the corner of the patio is this area here. That's the new one that we're doing to match the old one. So yeah, I think it's coming out pretty good. It looks really good. So that's kind of a cool little touch. We're doing a one inch frame with three quarter inch picket six inches apart. Because what we originally had to match what he had originally. So we were just matching it. And then now we're coming through and putting a half inch picket in between. So it gives you a big picket, little picket, big picket, little picket. So it's pretty cool. Near complete here pretty soon. I'm hoping by the end of today. Uh, yeah, the guy's got a little bit of retaining wall caps to do. So it's hard to see, but they have this covered. There's a retaining wall under here. Coming out good and uh, keeping everything going. Okay, we're back at this project. We're putting in some, uh, some of this crusher pines in here so that way we could put our, our grass. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread it all out, all around, give it a half inch so that way when we tap it down, it gives us enough for our grass. That way it's a nice finished cut all the way through and it's uh, gonna tie it in real nice. What we're, go what we're gonna be doing, put some throughout and then once we, we put it through, this is our, our jig, so that way it has enough clearance for our grass. Just enough for the grass, so that way when we compact it, it'll be level to this. So the grass isn't going to here, so we're just gonna have to cut it, cut it out, eat square, and uh, staple it in, so that way it looks professional. get the the grains uh, facing the same way as this one and that one we ran those ones the same as this one so that way we put this one it'll tie in all together okay now we rolled it out and they're facing the same way so they're matching, so when we put our seams together, it'll look like there's no seam at all. Here we cut out the first square, well half square, triangle. Now we gotta do that all all this pathway here, but that's what it'll look like. Okay, 
So what we're doing is we're finishing up and trying to put this in fill. So that way it stands with the bristles real nice. I'm spraying it manually. So that way when we put it with the, the brush or the broom, it helps stand up the bristles. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it more and more or less in the middle. So that way it gets as much of the bristles as possible. So that way it looks, it looks as real and it looks authentic. These guys just got wrapped up here. Yeah, me and the guys were doing doing some finished touches on this. Yep. Pretty good. The guys, as you can see, did all the sod in here. But this is all dirt before. We put a concrete retaining wall here. Gravel on both sides of this fencing. And then we uh, did the, this fencing with the, the wood post. Customer wanted to do wood post on there. So I think it turned out pretty nice. We stained them. We just got finished staining them, so. So yeah, and then with, the, with this area, the guys, the sidewalk. We built these retaining beds here to keep it the height of the sidewalk up by the house. Uh, added the gravel as well as that side. We did the retaining wall over there. Put a fence on top of it or behind it. These are just little solar lights you can get at your local hardware stores. And we put this sidewalk in to go from his shed to his his uh, walkway there. So yeah, looks pretty good. He's gonna be um, doing some other work in here, uh, doing putting a swimming pool in, I guess. So we're done with ours and. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nice.